Hello my friend, check this thing out. Is this the ultimate trail camper for living and traveling full time? Let's find out because I'm about to give you a full tour. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. Let's go. This is a hard sided pop-up camper. It's made by Ross Monster and it's called the Baja. Big thanks to them for letting me borrow it to test it out to see if it would be a good fit. I've been waiting like a kid on Christmas to try this rig out for multiple reasons. First being that it's hard sided but it's a pop-up which means that the top actually lifts up. I'll show you how to pop it up in a second. Second being is, get this, there's a pass through from the truck to the camper. I'm in the truck. Now I'm in the camper, which means that I can move from the truck to the back of the camper without exiting the vehicle. And my opinion is every camper girl's dream. Let's talk about some of the outside specs of the truck and then we'll move inside. Let's go. Coming in at 24 feet long, seven feet wide and nine feet tall when down, I can't wait to take you on an adventure in this. They start this build with a normal heavy duty, 3,500 or 350 truck with an eight foot bed and a single rear wheel that you get at the dealership. From then, they remove the truck bed, cut a hole in the cab and attach a permanent camper. The only flaw is that they built this on a Chevy 3500. But don't worry, they also build them on Ford F-350s. <laughs> Let's just pretend this says Ford and then it would be the perfect build. But we're not talking about trucks today. We're talking about campers. Up front, you're gonna wanna choose a heavy duty bumper, one that can accommodate a 16,000 pound winch or higher. This truck has 35 inch tires with 18 inch wheels. Same wheels that I have, except these are 18s. Personally, if I was going to build one, I'd probably use 35s or 37s with 17 inch wheels. In my opinion, when you're trail riding and off-roading, it's better to use the biggest size tire possible with the smallest wheels possible. A lot of the cushion you're gonna get is from that extra sidewall with the smaller wheels. A lot of people like big, shiny wheels, but it's not ideal for off-roading. The smaller wheel, the better. Suspension wise, there's nothing special about this build particularly. It's pretty much stock with airbags in the back. Somewhere, got the leaf spring, spare tire, see the ranchos. However, you can work with Ross Monster to upgrade and customize your suspension with just about anything. Just gotta figure out what you want. Light bar to light up your path at night. I like that the lift's not real high, so it's easy to get in and out of the truck. Coming around back, you'll notice the bumper. They have their own customized bumper because you're losing the one that comes with the truck bed. You'll also notice molly panels along the back that you can customize to hold whatever you need. Ski racks, extra fuel, water, recovery gear, and I'd probably even try to stick my personal pizza oven back here. Also, if you choose to do something like a 37 inch tire, you're probably gonna be storing it on the back as well because it's really hard to get that size tire underneath the vehicle. You know me, one of my favorite exterior features is the outdoor shower port. So, you can enjoy showers with this beautiful backdrop. And she's up. And this is what it looks like all popped up. You just hop inside, push a button, and it just lifts up. There's no latches to unclip and no roof to pop up. You can see that the height and clearance is pretty similar to a normal hard-sided truck camper or RV. The perk about it being a pop-up is that when it's down and you're driving, you have a much lower center of gravity. Then you have the Fiamma awning along the side. It's nice and long, covers almost the entire side of the camper. You can choose to get an electronic automatic one as well, depending on your preference. Let's head inside. Welcome inside. I'm going to show you around, but first I want you to keep in mind that nearly everything in this truck camper is customizable. From the colors, the finishes, the layout, you name it, you can change it to fit your needs best. Above me you'll find most of the controls for the camper. Top left is the lifting and lowering of the topper. To the right of that is the Victron energy monitoring system. And then below that includes the controls for the lighting, the water pump, the fridge, the tank monitoring. You can find in this cabinet, the controls for the hydronic heating system. So there's an aqua hot option that you can choose 
as the main source of heat for the camper and also you can get heated floor so your little tootsies tootsies <laughs> won't get cold during the winter moving right inside to the spacious galley and kitchen area you'll find a wonderful countertop with an induction cook system as well as the fridge right below there's also a nice seating area a swivel table. To my left is a second countertop area that has a stainless steel deep bay sink and a wooden cutting board, cutting board on top. That's my southern roots. Below you'll find the fresh water tank storage as well as a little compact trash can. An extendable countertop that you can use for additional cooking space, which is really nice, as well as some cabinets and drawers below for storage, and then the whole wall of cabinets. A ton of storage. I still just can't get over how much storage there is in all of these cabinets. You do lose some of the storage under the seats because of all the power systems, which I will show you in a little bit, but you make up for it with these cabinets above. Sitting here at the table, you can see there's ample seating space to enjoy food, relax, study, work. There's a swivel lagoon table right in the middle that actually converts into a second sleeping area. So this whole entire area can be used to sleep in. Tons of spacious room to relax. And you're surrounded by seven windows, three on either side and then one in the back with these really nice removable covers. Great bonus about the windows is you can watch it from Bigfoot from all angles. Shh. We're good. Let's go. This is where the cool cats hang out. The shower. This is a really cool telescoping shower that actually collapses when the truck campers down. You can also store your toilet down here. And what's nice is that there's two zippers that zip all the way closed to keep all the water inside while you're showering. There's a nice teak floor. The handle sits right here so it stays out of the way when the truck campers down. We've switched sides and you're on the other side of the camper, which gives you a better view of the sleeping area, the pass through, a different view of the shower and the glorious air conditioner. Let's climb up here. Um, no, oh, sorry, I was meditating. There's a nice little spot right here where you can sit crisscross applesauce and take a survey of the entire truck camper. Plenty of room to relax, hang out, lots of activities. You can stretch out. There's a lot of pillows here, so just chill out, enjoy the view. There's also two storage cubbies behind me. They're the top cubbies, and then below are two windows. Let me show you. Even better, you can look for Bigfoot up here. I saved the best for last, the pass-through, which is a huge convenience bonus. There's this really nice divider right here that drops down or clips up. You can also zip it down the sides, which I think is awesome for temperature control, noise control, and for privacy. And it's so cool. Look, now I'm in the truck. Now I'm in the truck giver. Optionally, you could remove all of this and it just stays open, but I'd probably keep it. Hello. <laughs> oh wait, I think I forgot something. Let me go back. Wow. <laughs> okay, enough of the truck camper. It's time to get outside and see some trees before it gets too dark. So let's get out of here.